here and today you are going to do what we didn't do yesterday be, uh, which is to actually display information in the recycler view items in the history activity so uh, I already explained it yesterday but it was getting kind of long so I didn't go forward and actually did it but I'll explain the database organization again and then we'll jump into the code right away so let's grab the database and the way we are going to, to know, as I've already said, that a person, uh, better yet, which rights a person has done, whether it is a customer or a driver, is by going inside their child, uh, their main child, which in this the case of this user is 6VLU, whatever, then going inside history and getting each and every single child uh, that's inside there, and get the key for that child so we'll do a for uh, statement and it will go line by line and we'll get each key for um, uh, each child and when we get uh, uh, that key we'll right away make a call for another function which will go down here in the history child the main history child and it will uh, search for the the childs that we got previously on the customer child or on the driver child. So yeah, it will be really quick, really easy. So let's get right on with it and go grab the code. And in this lesson, it will only display the right ID, but it will give us the foundation to get more information in the future. It will be extremely easy. It's just about adding a couple more lines. So, the first thing that we'll need is to get the information of whether this, the, 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 the user that's using the history at the moment is a customer or a, a driver because we will be accessing different childs in the beginning. So to do that, let's go inside, let me just check inside customer map activity because right now we are only doing it for the customer but to do it for the driver is really easy just create a button in the driver map ac activity that takes us to the history so it's only about grabbing this and placing it in the driver map activity so we'll create now uh, uh, how do you call it um, an extra, I, I was missing the word, and in that extra we'll pass some a string, so let me just write and I'll explain it in a second, customer or driver will be the name of this uh, extra, and for this case because we are in the customer map activity it will be customers, which is the name of the main child for customers and I'll grab it just to show you it's this uh, name here okay so this extra uh, will be passed along with this intent so if we go inside the, the, the history and let's create now uh, a string private string uh, customer or driver And uh, we'll be erasing this afterwards so I can make some space there. If we say customer or driver, we will be able to get that string that we passed from the, the last activity. So if you say get intent, get, get extras, extras dot get string customer or driver. And in the case when we are in the customer map activity and you click the history, so customers will be passed along to this activity, which is exactly what we need. Let me just check that these strings match up. Yeah, they do, so great. Now, the, the second thing that we need in order to create the database is the driver ID, the, the user ID. So it is more of the same, we've already done it a million times so firebase of dot get instance uh, not to string dot get current user 
dot get UID and that's it so now we can actually move on and do the the functions that I've said in the beginning and the first of which is going to be get user history IDs click alt enter create method and it will be created for you so now all that we need to do is create a database reference for the the user's child so user history database firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child users dot child customer or driver dot child user id and now the his the history child because that's where all the information that we want at the moment is history okay and now the way we are going to get it is by using a single value event listener because we are not interested in being always fetching and okay that can mess things up so if the user wants to get the most updated uh, history he must refresh the, the page manually so add a listener for single event value new value event listener okay so now on data change as always let's place a if data snapshot exists just to make sure that something is there and the app won't crash and now because we are using a single event uh, if single uh, value event the way we get things is a bit uh, different so as i've said previously we'll use a for statement to a for loop to um, to get it and it is a bit different because we won't be getting we won't be using the map and then we get the child it is different so the way we do it is by saying for data snapshot history two points data snapshot dot get children and so uh, what this does is for each loop that it does it will get one child and it will uh, pass it to history this history va uh, variable and then it will be done and it will go to the next child which is below it and pass it to the history variable and so on and so forth so we actually we will create the, the the next function right here so fetch right information history dot get key and let me grab the, just the database just to explain it to you a bit better so the four begins and it will get this child and it will pass it to the history variable and then we'll get the key so in then the four ends and it will move on to the next one and it will get the key as well and then the next one and the next one so it is uh, easy but it is a bit different so be careful of that but it is a great way to to do this let me just remove the spaces collapse this okay so now on the fetch write information we'll move on to this uh, child in here and get the, all the information that we want which in, in this case will only be the key for this but because we are, are, are already there it is really easy to, to get everything else so yeah let's do it and I'm actually yeah I'm going to just grab this all because it is basically the same and you'll see what changes so for the database reference it is only history and then <coughs> and then write key which i'm going to actually change the name to make it more clear write key and you can remove everything else so history history and then the write key that we want Okay, so now we can remove this for it doesn't do us any good and we are going to change the name to history database okay 
So now all that's left is to get the right ID string right ID equals to data snapshot dot get key. And then all that we that is left is to actually pass it to the um, history object and then to update the adapter which we already did so I'm not going to go into full detail on that I'm just going to grab this actually I, I'll need everything so write this clear that and just copy and paste it inside here Move that bracket and now instead of integer to string it is write ID and that's it it is working by now so let's just run the app and see if everything checks out okay so the app finished loading successfully let's go into history and all the drivers uh, right the customer's right id is are inside here because we can see from here if we pick this up as you can see these matches everything so yeah and it is not getting the information the the strings from here as okay as you may remember it is getting them from here so we are exactly where we need to be to move on in the future so yeah uh, i was checking the the history on the uber app itself and it has a map displaying the the route that uh, it took and the the cost the date of the the ride so we'll try to do it, it all uh, the map will be kind of a challenge but you'll, it should be just the uh, same as we did previously so yeah let's see how, t how it goes so yeah thank you all very much for watching please do leave a, a like and subscribe it helps me tremendously and it helps me grow this channel even further for you guys so yeah i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao